All right, today we're going to make the Russian food artillery. As you can see, I've got this kit with uh, a lot of equipment, as uh, those cannon racks, cannon cars, with the ammunition cards. And we're going to make him. And here you can see the front picture. That's uh, the picture we're going to set down onto the model. And here you have these figures onto the onto the sprues. You can see the horses, the cannon parts, the soldiers that. Uh, are going to be loading the cannon and on the other side we've got the uh, yeah the ammunition card and the cannon card so uh, there's a lot of work to do and yeah it's gonna be fine so as first we're going to start uh, painting everything black so we've got a good base color with a good base color we can uh, Appreciate the, the figures and after that we can uh, apply the other colors so uh, sit down and uh, watch me painting this figures black first Alright, with the first set done, uh, we're now going to paint down the cannon wheels and the uh, ammunition card wheels. So, we're going to take the sprue here, yes, alright. And now we're going to make the first step with painting it green. It doesn't look green maybe, but it is, it is green, but it's uh, from the lighting that it looks kind of brown, but uh, it's green. Right now we're going to paint down the cannon with uh, the brass color. And all the other parts of the cannon. After that we're going to paint down the horse. Uh, I'm going to bring down a slight color of brown on it and I don't want to add down too much brown so you get that nice pre-shade of, uh, of the base color. Now we're going to paint that with a, uh, a little bit of oil, oil or uh, steel color. So you've got a great visual on the, the cannonballs that are in the cart. Right, we're now going to paint down the steel, steel, steel uh, sides away with with the green paint, so we've got a clean, clean wheel.
we're cutting down now the parts so we can uh, place it down together and glue it down As you can see, this is a bit hard of uh, our process of pinning down the, the ropes on the horse, but uh, and the straps. But uh, when it's done, you've got that nice visual of uh, what a horse uh, looked like. And now I'm adding the white color to the the backs on the horse. It's now looking too white onto the model, but uh, later on it will be fixed with uh, a little bit of grey. As you can see here, it's uh, already faded out to grey. And on top of that, we're going to paint out the uh, sheets also grey. And on top of that, you've got a uh, another sheet, and that is the uh, the back, the, the the back, yeah. And that's going to be brown. The saddle is going to be black in this case. We're going to add down a little brass, so you've got this rope down. We're going to remove that little dot that I created there. Right, we are cutting it down. So the horse is done, now we're going to move on further with the figures. Oh, as you can see I've got this green dot right here, but I'm going to fix that later. Alright, maybe fix it now. Alright, looking clean now. Alright, so the horse is done. We're going to move on to the figures. We're going to start off with spending the uh, trousers, the legs first with white. It's going to be the coat. Alright, after I applied it all to the figures, we've got to move on with the green uniform. As you can see, I am applying it here. These figures are still pretty hard because they have a lot of details, so you must be careful where you are painting. But these two colors, as white as green, are the base colors. So after that, you are going to paint more carefully with the other colors, as in, case, in this case you've got a white on it.
Alright, so now we're going to paint down the hands, the skin color. Alright, now we're going for the tin cans on the back. And as you can see, these figures are coming great together. You can see a lot of details already onto the model or on the figure. As you can see here, I'm going to paint, <coughs> paint down the uh, copper plate on the side to uh, reinforce the helmet. I spilled over here on the table, but uh, I can use it uh, to place down uh, or to weather down the figures. Always be careful when you are opening a, uh, a bottle. That's a great note to myself, by the way. But as you can see, uh, when you apply the weathering, you can see a really good shading of the figure with the weathering on it, and I love that. Look at it. All right. You're really fast done with pre-shading, but it's going to turn out really amazing, and I'm just absolutely in love with the technique I uh, I used here and of course you can't have these uh, figures with perfectly white trousers perfectly white uniforms or clean because they are in battle and uh, they're getting mud or dirt on them and as you can see now you've got uh, a lovely uh, visual of the figures it's just for me amazing and that's the fact that I've painted down 200 and more of these. And here you can see the commander painting uh, down also with a weathering look. It's going to uh, be a bit late. Yes, there. There you go. Here you can see it. And when you're not satisfied, you can take down a bottle of water and apply a little water on your brush and uh, paint paint the weathering away but I'm, I'm just good with this and I hope uh, you understand that all right cutting down the figures and they're ready for the placement onto the bottle Alright, so now you can see the figures onto the model and look at it, it's going to be great. Look at this scene, the smoke out of the cannon, the figures firing the cannon off. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this uh, part of the model. <laughs> 